Hey, 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 I am back. I know it has been a while since I've done my last tutorial, but you know, life happens being a father, kids, it's a lot going on, but hey, I'm back. And uh, usually I would do an intro on my camera, but it's dead right now. So I just decided to just do it this way. So today's tutorial actually came from a comment from one of my older videos. It was the video where I was showing how to do hi-hat runs. And the guy had problems with doing the hi-hat runs that I was doing because he couldn't pitch the hi-hats because he was using a um, he was using sounds from a preloaded drum kit that's already in Logic. So today I'm going to show you how you can pick sounds from those preloaded drum kits and sample them and put them into various samplers for you to pitch the sounds individually. So let's get right on into it. So right now I have a drum kit pulled up. This is just a basic drum kit. And uh, yes, yeah, this one. So we're going to go through it. So. All right, that sounds good. So um, I'm going to do a hi hat because um, he was trying to do the hi hat run um, and try to pitch in this stuff, but he couldn't figure out how to do it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take the hi hat right here. Yeah, that's the only one. So I'm going to take that. I uh, got it quantized and I'm going to play one of them. Okay, so we got it in. Uh, we didn't get it in. Hold on, let me do that one more time. So I guess I had to do a couple. So I got them in now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to actually shrink this down and only use one of them. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bounce it in place. So once I bounce it in place, um, I'm just going to just leave it name like that. So now there's an audio version of what is bounced in place. So here we go. So we play that back. So now it's actually several ways we can do this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it using the ES. Uh, X24 sampler since I know everybody in Logic has that. So what I'm going to do is there's two ways you can do it. I'm going to show you the fastest way to do it. What you're going to do is you're going to right click on it. You're going to convert to a new sampler track. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the regions um, and the trigger note range. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name this hat test and what I'm going to do is we're going to have it start on C3 which is middle C and press OK and now it just created a ES24 right here ESX20 EXS24 sampler and it already imported the audio so let's play it there it is. It's already in the sampler. Now, if you press other notes, nothing won't play because we haven't stretched the parameters for it to hit the other notes. So what we have to do now is hit edit. And as you can see, it's already set on middle C right here. What we're going to do is we're going to stretch this over here. And then we're going to stretch this back over here. So now we play those corresponding notes. There it is that fast. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save it. All you got to do is just save it and then you can save it to where you can find it. And then what it'll do is um, I already did some already. So um, I'm not going to save it right now. So I'm not going to save that. But as you can see, I already had some drums that I did like that already. Now, the other way you can do it is um, me. I'm a contact user, so I like to use contact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
take that out and go back a step and we're going to unmute the audio version and we're going to actually going to bounce that audio version. So, so set a little loop. I always like to set a loop and then what we're going to do is we're going to bounce project or selection. I'm going to save it as a 16 bit wave file or, you know, in uh contact, you can do up to 24 bit, but I'm going to just keep it at 16 bit. And then I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to call it hat test. Okay. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a new instance of, well, let me do it. Actually, let me do it in, um, battery first. Cause I know a lot of, a lot of guys got battery and they use battery. So I'm going to go right here to battery. Um, pick a stereo version of it. And then as you can see, it has hat test right here. So I can take that and then swing it right there. And now I'm playing battery and in battery, there is a way where you can set it to where um, you can set the parameters, the key range on it. Um, I'm not going to do that right now because I'm actually going to do a whole nother video on that. But as you can see, it does go into battery. I know some people copy and paste it all the way through, and then that's how you do your key ranges. But um, I'm a contact person. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get out of there and I'm going to go to contact. And once this pulls up, I'm going to file to find the sample, which is in my desktop right there. And there goes the sample hat test. And I'm going to slide it right here. And the good thing about contact is it's already set for you to go up and down the key ranges. That simple. And you can do this with any sound out of any drum kit. You just have to play it, bounce it down to audio, save it, or you can export it to the ESX24 sampler. Now, if you guys want to know how to use contact, um, I have other videos that I made a long time ago about how to sample in contact and how to use contact um, with kicks, basses, um, snares, whatever you would have it, and hi-hats. I actually have a video on that. And this is where this video actually came from, from a user who wanted to know how to uh, pitch his hi-hats that was in a kit, and this is how you do it. So, you guys, make sure you like make sure you subscribe make sure you comment because i want to know what you guys want to see so i can make more videos and hit that notification button so that when i make new videos you'll know when they come available